his attack his attack on the last mentioned place was made principally in the hope of surprising and carrying of the celebrated beauty of the age. Julia Gonzaga, the wife of Vespasian Gonzaga, Barbarossa, wished to present her as a courtly offering of Soliman, and he designed that the flower of the fair of Christendom should shine in, the, in his sultan's harem. Barbarossa's crows landed stealthily in the night, stealthily, and decided fondly so vig vigorously that he beautiful Julia was only roused from sleep by the alarm that the Turks were in her place. Evading their hot pursuit with the greatest difficulty and danger, she was set on horseback in her nightdress by an Italian cavalier who rescued and rode off with her alone to a place of safety. The sensitive beauty afterwards caused her preserver and companion to be assassinated. Whether it was says the German historian that he had dared to march on that night or that he had only seen too much. After plan plundering the Napolitan coasts, coast, Barbarossa stood across to Africa and captured Tunis, which had long been the object of his ambition. He did not, however, retain this prize more than five months. The Moorish prince, whom he expelled, implored, implored the assistance of Charles the Five and the your emperor led to Tunis and army and fleet of such strength that Barbarossa, after a brave and skillful defense, was obliged to abandon the city. The cold blooded and un unsparing cruelty with which after Barbarossa's retreat, the unresisting and unoffending city was sacked by the Christian forces, which had come theater as the nominal allies of its rightful king. They quoted the worst utter atrocities that have ever been import, imputed to, to the Turks. Turks driven from Tunis, Hayreddin was still strong at Algiers and sailing from that port with 17 galleys, he took revenge and on Spain by plundering Minor Minorca, and he then repaired to Constantinople, where the Sultan conferred on him the highest naval dignity, that of Capitan Pasha in 1537, 
here again desolated the shores of Italy. And when Venice took part in the war against the sublime port, Barbarossa captured from her nearly all the islands that he had possessed in the archipelag and the cities of Napoli, <coughs> the Romania and Castel Nuovo. He recovered Coron from Spaniards and, uh, and on the 28th September 1538 he engaged the Combined fleets of Pope and Venice and the Emperor in a great battle of Preveso. Barbarossa on this occasion party practiced the bold maneuver of cutting the line, which Rodney, St. Vincent and Nelson made afterwards so celebrated in the English Navy. The Turkish admiral's force was inferior to the enemy in number and size of vessels and in weight and of matter. But by seamanship and daring Barbarossa gained it a complete and glorious victory. So he, coming on of night, and enabled the retreated Christians of escape without very heavy loss. The disastrous reverse which Charles V sustained when he attacked Algiers in 1541 was chiefly the work of the elements. Barbarossa co commanded the Turkish fleet sent by Soliman to protect Algiers. But he was detained in harbor by the same tempest that shattered the ships of Spain. The last great service in which Haritin was employed by the Sultan was in 1543, when he was sent with the Turkish fleet to assist Francis I, and acted in conjunction with the French squadron. In the Mediterranean, he captured the city of Nice, so the castle held out against him and he is said to have roughly reproved the French officers for their negligence and for the defective state of their ships as to equipment and necessary stores. The allies whom he came to protect were obliged to listen submissively to his rebukes. And, and it was only by the earnest entreaties, apologies of the French admiral, the Du Anikian, that the, the colère of the old Turkish veteran was appeased. During the, during the latter years of Barbarossa's life, he was, when not employed at sea, a regular attendant as Captain Pasha at the Divan of Sublime Port. Where the Consuls of the old admiral were always listened to with respect. He did in 
1546 and his thumb on the side of Bosporus near Besiktas still invades attention of romantic beauty of its site. And by the recollection of the old cross Corsairs who sleeps there by the side of the sun, sounding sea which so long he ruled. His will had been principally devoted by him to the foundation of a college. A striking tribute of the general respect for literature and science which prevailed in Soliman's court and which exercised its influence over even the rugged temper of Barbarossa, who from the circumstances of his early life could not possibly have been Turkish relic. Some, however, of the Ottoman admirals were themselves. Eminent for, for their sci, science, scientific attainments and for their contributions to the literature, literature of the country. Such were Piriwes and Sidi Ali, two of the commanders of the squadrons, which by Soliman's orders were equipped <clears throat> in the port of the Red Sea and which issuing thence conquered for the sultans of Constantinople. The port of Aden, which England now possesses possess, and justly values for its important position in the line of European commerce, with India by the Red Sea and Egypt. Many other cities and districts on the coast of Arabia, Persia and the northwest of India were added to the Ottoman Empire and many gallant contents were sustained with the Portuguese as well as with the native rulers. By the Turkish admirals the octogenarian Soliman and Morat and the two whose names have been already mentioned, Pirides was the another of two geographical works. One of the <coughs> One of the Aegean and one on the Mediterranean Sea, in which their currents, currents, their soundings, their harbors, and their best landing places were described from personal surveys. Sidi Ali was a poet as well as a sailor, and besides his productions in verse he wrote a description of his travel overland to Constantinople from Go Gojerat where his fleet had been damaged by tempests <coughs> so as to be no longer able to cope with the Portuguese. <coughs> Sidi Ali was also the author of several mathematical and nautical treaties and of a work called Moahid on the navigation of the Indian Sea, which he drew from the best Arabian and Persian authorities of his time on the subject of India. Two authors Turkish admirals of this reign must not be omitted throughout 
more correctly called Turkot and Piane. Piane was a Croatian by birth. Dragant was, uh, was born a subject of the Sultan, but the Christian par parentage he early in life. joined the crew of a Turkish galley and was chosen captain of a band of 30 sea rovers. He collected a force of 30 vessels and attacked the islands of Korsika, but was defeated by Doria, who took him prisoner and chained him to the bench of the, his galley, where there got toilet at the victor's war for many of weary months. At last Barbarossa's rescued him by threatening to lay Genoa whilst if Dragot was not set free, and under the patronage of Hayreddin, Dragot soon reappeared re on the wave, waves chief of a squadron of twenty galleys that spirit terror along the coast of Italy and Spain. He made himself master of Mahidje and Tripoli, and following the example of Barbarossa, he acknowledged himself to the Sultan's vassal and received in return high rank and substantial aid from Constantinople. The Spaniards took Mahidje from him. Dragut had more than once the advantage of of Doria in their countries was almost <coughs> was almost as much as much dreaded in the Mediterranean as Barbarossa himself. His boldness of spirit was shown even towards the Sultan. He had on one occasion been tempted by the sight of a rich fleet of Venetian Argosies and had captured them so there was peach at that time between the Republic of, of St. Mark and the port. Dragut was ordered to Constantinople to answer for his outrage. And as the Grand Vizier Rostem was his enemy, his, his heat was in serious peril. But Dragot, instead of obeying the order of Recal, sailed out of the Straits of Gibraltar and took service under the Imperial of Morocco until Suleiman, after Barbarossa's death, recalled him by pledge of pardon and ample promises of promotion. We shall soon have occasion to notice his final services and deeds at the siege of Malta. Piade, was, Piade Pasha was chiefly signalized, signalized during the re reign of Saliman by the capture of Oran and by the great defeat which he gave, gave in 15, 1560 to the combined Christian fleets 
that were destined for Tripoli and the Isle, Isle of Gerbe. 200 vessels were pre prepared for his expedition by the Pope and by the rulers of the Genos, Florence, Malta, Sicily and Naples. Doria was High Admiral to the fleet and Don Alvaro de Sandi commanded the army which it conveyed. The fleet effected the passage to Gerba in safety. The troops were landed, the island nearly subdued, and a fort, fortress erected. But before the Christian galley, galleys left the waters of Gerbe, Piana had, had heard of the attack and had left the Dardanelles with a fleet which was reinforced at Modon by the squadrons of the governors of Rhodos and Mycile. On the 4th 14th May 1560 by attacking Doria's fleet and completely defeated it, 20 galleys and 27 transports of the Christians were destroyed, 7 galleys ran for shelter up the channel of Gerbe, where they were subsequently captured. <laughs>